welcome back to The Moomer Effect, a place where we literally question everything. This is easily one of the weirdest videos I've ever seen. Check uh -oh. out this guy talking to no one. Dispatch to 329. Yes, sir. Who are you talking to? Did you say Miss Abigail? Yes, ma'am. She, she says she wants to see Mr. Griffin, and I told her that uh, the canvas is closed, that she should come tomorrow morning, and she might see Mr. Griffin. But I don't see anybody. Are you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? Like, she's been passed on for two years now. Miss Abigail is she she died two years ago. You mean you can't see the person I'm talking to? <laughs> no, there's nobody yeah. in front of you at all. <laughs> Let me tell y'all true story. Be simple uh, watch this video to the end. A UFO on a tow truck. TikTok. Yeah. This is for entertainment purposes only. Let's go. Who the hell did this? And why is there smoke coming out? There's something in there, man. Shut up! Who the hell is that tow truck driver? <laughs> Have you lost your mind? Stop playing with me, son! It's not a game out here, guys, and that dude done lost it. Who the hell tows a UFO? It's still smoking. Bro, it looks like it landed somewhere, and you took it? You took it? What if that... Shh! Shut up! Stop playing with me, son! TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only, and if you ask me, that video's not even real. <laughs> what if that shit just leaves the truck and flies back into the sky? What if it came down here just to get gasoline? Shh! Shut up! This shit doesn't make any sense. I haven't <laughs> seen it all. UFOs getting towed. Are you gonna bring it to the impound? Stop playing with me, son! Don't you dare. Cause the what's ever in that shit's gonna come out and take all of you guys out. Mm -mm -mm. You people are getting crazier by the day. I'm tired of this. Shh. Shut up! It's not a game out here. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Shh. Shut up! I can't even say what I wanna say because it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Now, ask yourself, if you see a UFO somewhere, you're going to tow it? What are you about to do? Bring it to the scrap metal, please? No. Stop playing with me, son. It's not a game, guys. You better bring that shit back from where you got it from. <laughs> but i tell you one thing, guys. If I'm ever on the road and I see a tow truck driver towing a UFO, I'm going to make sure I pull him over and he gets out the car. I'm like, yo, you crazy, bro? You serious? <laughs> Someone emailed me this video a while ago that uh -oh. they took in their house of something between Wait a minute, you guys. I'm super, I don't like aliens. I'm super creeped out. It's already starting to get dark. Let's see of how much I can handle with this. Okay? I can deal with it. Potentially peeking in the door here that opened their door. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, I'm going to let you watch it. Let me know what you think. So my door just opened on its own. Mm -mm. So maybe I left the door. I already outside. see it. Dog is somewhere. Knocked okay. out. He doesn't even know. I told them to come in. What? Are you crazy? Um, did you just see that? Hi. What do you mean, hi? Can I oh, I have you? goosebumps. Uh-uh. Get out of here. Do you come in peace? I mean, do not mean harm to me. This woman is crazy. You are welcome if you mean no harm to me or my dog. Or anybody in this home. I come in peace. She's unarmed, crazy. With love. You know, I wouldn't be able to take this. I would just actually, I would have to open the door. What is that? This is not a 
Mm -mm. Will you communicate with me? What? Girl. Please come inside. Wake up the dog and go open the door. Can you come closer? Why did you disappear earlier? I'm going to shut my computer. This can't be one. This, this can't be real. I'm only filming for my safety. And for disclosure, there's a group of us that want the truth to be out there. And I know I was just talking about the men in black and then you showed up and my door opened. Um, because I talked into my phone I can only now. focus on that white dot. Do you guys, what do you guys see? But we believe in truth and honesty and people believe government, the elites believe that we are not capable or ready for the truth. That we're not smart enough. When we see things, we see you. We feel you watching. This can't you know be real. This has got to be fake. Us. You visit us. You visit my daughter. What? And, and where's the daughter right now? You. I would love for disclosure to happen so we can start putting this world back together. Uh, she's tripping. Where's her daughter? Because I would have, I would have already opened imagine. the door. I try to imagine this world being a better place with your technology to have free energy no poverty nobody goes hungry wondering how we're gonna pay our power and water bill and make rent like this is not what we were created for in my mind we are greater and are meant to do better things and live in a peaceful can y'all see what that is and you're probably regretting opening this door <laughs> because you're talking crazy. too much but i really would like to communicate with you so i'm gonna okay. shut up yeah please because this is fake now nothing's happening show me Girl, bye. Come back. Will you come in? It better not be a jump scare. Is she going to open the door? Hurry up. Are you going to open the door? Sorry, I'm trying to sit up. Hello? Oh. Please come back. Are you there? You opened my door. Please come back. Um. Is, is that you? Where, girl? Can you come closer and shine brighter? Can you shine brighter? So I know it's and why do they need to peek at you? I mean, why is it that they just cannot show themselves? You can come inside. I mean, no harm. I'm sorry for making a fast movement. I close my eyes. I open it up again, and I'm in a dark room, and there's a light on top of me. I'm naked at this time. I'm looking around and I'm like, oh my god, what's and it's not like I'm looking around like I can move my head. No, I'm literally like this, like barely an inch moving around. And when I finally look down at my feet like this, 
there was a white guy in a suit with sunglasses by my left foot. He saw that I woke up. He had sunglasses in the dark room. He saw that I woke up. And you know what he did? He stepped, he took two steps back into the dark. So imagine being in a pitch black room and there's only one light right on top of you. I can't move and I'm like, so I'm like, I'm like, okay, I, I fall back to sleep. I don't remember what happened. I, I wake up. And this time when I wake up, there's an alien right there on my left side, right here. He was standing right here. Like, if I'm laying down, he's standing right here. And I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? What's going on? And I'm, I'm like looking around and there's another alien on my right side. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. So then the alien looks at me and he goes, he looks, he leans in and I'm freaking out. I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. He touches me here. As soon as he touched me, he talked to me tele telepathically. He's like, don't worry. You've been here many times. Stop freaking out. You know what's happening. Yeah. And, and I'm like, and I'm still shaking, right? He was like, speak telepathically. Speak with your mind. Speak with your mind. Speak with your mind. And I'm like, I'm like, what is he talking about? And my head, I don't know. My head was racing. It was, guys, it's creepy. Being abducted by aliens is creepy. And like me, I wasn't that sounds really creepy. Like, you know, I heard stories and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm like freaking out. And he was like, speak tele telepathically. Relax. You've done this many times. So I'm like, okay. Finally, I took his advice, right? And mind you, this is all happening in a couple seconds. In my mind, it's feeling like a couple seconds, right? I, he's still working. He's standing here and he's working somewhere. I don't know what he's doing. I can't see. You know what I mean? I, I can't move my head this time. I just move my eyes. And so I finally got it that I have to speak telepathically. Okay. I, I don't know. For some reason, I just knew what to do. And I looked at him in his eyes. And he tells me again, relax. You've been here before. And I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And I'm, I'm still freaking out. And I'm like, what's going on? What's going on? Like, what, what am I doing here? It's like, it's like, what's going on? What's going on? And he, he goes, relax. You've been here before. <clears throat> You've been here before. Just relax. We're doing our little um, checkup on you. You know what's going on. Just relax. He touches me again. Guys, when he touches me again, I pass out. When I wake up again, just for a quick second, not a quick second, probably like five to ten seconds, I see him taking off his, his, he had like a suit, but he also had something over his suit, so he took off, he took it off, he took it off, and right in front of me, he literally took off his coat, and he cleaned his hand, I don't know if he had, I think he had gloves out at the moment, he, cl he cleaned out his hand, and I saw him went like this. And this was looking at me and I'm like I'm like okay like at the moment when I saw his eyes I was shocked been in and immediately in the same second I was like I've been here before I know exactly what's going on like this is okay like I'm huh. just gonna chillax like I'm just gonna chillax let them do what they have to do I'm just gonna relax and just you know I'm gonna wake up and this is gonna be you know all done and over with like obviously I've done this before like let me just relax Strange. Yo, am I tripping right? Okay, so I was, I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. Please tell me if you got anybody saw this. But I was coming back from the gym off of this back road, outside of Raleigh, North Carolina, and we're like the road and the trees and the sky opens up. What the? What? F <laughs> I swear I saw giant sparks, like a plane, like maybe on fire or like I don't know, but it was like. There was sparks across the sky, and it left, like, a huge, like, illuminated smoke trail, like, behind it for a long time. And then, like, three seconds later, the biggest aircraft I've ever seen in my life flies right over my truck, and it was completely silent, and it had, like, four flashing lights on it. What the fuck? And then now, like right outside, I'm here for work, living in a hotel, and right outside my hotel, there's like a, like four black undercover police officers, just like. What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. Posted wait, 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 up. Wait, 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 wait. At an intersection, I don't know.
what does he mean for black undercover police officers? What is he talking about there? Is he talking about their race because he's in North Carolina or is he talking about s some secret force? What is he saying here? What? What the f <laughs> did I just see? What did I just Someone hear? please tell me they saw this. This happened like five minutes ago and I can't find anything on it. There's like no sirens, like what the fuck? People who expose the truth. Not everybody here on this planet has a soul. In fact, a lot of them are just projections of program. And that's all they care about is regurgitating the program that they that they have been created by artificial intelligence to spout because they don't have any real intelligence and how you tell the difference is a human being has the ability to change mm. and a messenger cannot change a messenger has a different soul than a human being the messengers are here program artificial intelligence the messengers are here to tempt and sway people who have souls and they do it quite effectively but when you go back to roots the way you tell if you're a human being or just a messenger a co-opted bot of artificial intelligence is you can change a human being has the ability to change its mind. What about corn? Corn is the worst thing you can ever eat in yes, your life. I Stay don't eat away that. from corn. Corn is impossible to break down. That's why when you eat corn whole, it comes out. Corn is a gnarly grain. You do not want to put corn inside of you. Corn actually have a uh have a lectin inside of it called Zion. And Zion is hard to break down. Zion will actually penetrate the blood and brain barrier. It will go into your brain. It will connect itself to opioid-like receptors. And it will stimulate your appetite and hormones. Corn actually causes schizophrenic, just like uh, gluten do. Corn cannot be broken down. And it tears up and it destructs the bowel walls. So stay away from corn. Yep. Stay away. What is this? All right. <laughs> They're attempting to get an alien out, an alien implant. 1992, you guys. It's actually moving now? Well, he's poking it, but it went under. It's on the run. It's on the run? So I'm sure by now you've probably seen plenty of videos showing magnesium falling from the sky or Willie Pete or thermite or whatever. This is the most high definition video of that happening that I have ever seen so far. This guy had like a significantly good camera. And I mean, obviously this looks like looks the entire pretty. city is in complete shambles or town that he's in. Insane to see though. Pokemon Go has been using your data the entire time to train their very own AI model. And this comes out after- You know, I thought that this was a spying app the entire time. Way before I went into cybersecurity, I knew that this app was spying on people. The parent company Niantic has announced that they are building a geospatial AI model that is completely using player data. So you going out with your phone, you're actually mapping the entire world for them and training this AI. And if they ever didn't have enough information on a certain location, they would just do something like add a gym there or throw out yeah. a rare Charizard that you were so excited to get, which in all honesty is pretty genius of them. And I'm not even mad because it was during COVID and this was one of the most fun summers pretty much around the entire world was when you were going around with your friends to catch Pokemon while you're going on a walk. But let me know what you guys think about this because they're going to have a pretty good map, even of people's bathrooms. This was going on way before COVID. I was not playing this game during COVID. I don't think so. Things and whatnot. <laughs> I have figured out how our smartphones read our minds. They actually can. Everyone talks about how it's a myth. Do. It's not possible. It is. I'm going to explain why, and it's something that you would probably never guess. Oh, and this also proves that our consciousness is received from outside our brains. 
you'll see. Hang with me. This is the deep dive into okay. quartz crystals, plasma, radio waves, reading your minds, and consciousness. Okay, very quick. The first thing you just need to be a little bit aware of is what plasma is. Plasma makes up 99.9% .9 of the universe. No one's really taught about it in school, and you'll find out why. It basically, in science, is known as an ionized gas. There is solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Plasma interacts with radio waves. This is going to make sense. It can reflect radio waves waves in the ionosphere of the earth which makes them bounce back and forth and how we communicate on some frequencies it can also transmit radio waves and if the radio waves frequency is equal to plasma frequency resonance occurs oh you mean like when you can feel someone's vibe in the air yes that's the same in my theory just for this video let's compare consciousness to a radio wave just like how some people say that consciousness re resides outside the body I do not think our brain is generating consciousness and a lot of studies are leading now towards this that we receive consciousness some people say it is from microtubules the microtubules in your brain do i think it's the plasma membrane either way compare consciousness to radio waves you'll see why it makes sense hmm. so we've established that in this plasma that is all around us invisible it can hold radio waves or consciousness potentially that's my theory. It is speculation right now. I'm working on proving it. We're about to go back to the phone why it reads your mind, don't worry. You just gotta know all this. So there's something called a plasma antenna, which they're currently developing, where plasma is used instead of metal elements of a traditional antenna. So the antennas use plasma instead of metal to transmit and receive radio waves. So we've established plasma definitely can transmit these radio waves better than anything else. One just little fun fact for all my plasma lovers out there. This was actually invented in 1919 by this guy, Jay Hedinger. He basically talked about this thing he called radiant energy because plasma was not named until like 1928. So this is proof that plasma is ether or radiant matter because now they're using it on plasma. And he talked about how this mechanism would work and made the exact patent that they're working on now a hundred years later almost. Well, yeah, more than a hundred years later to create plasma antennas. So they've had this for like, they, the government has had this for like a hundred years. But in my mind, this literally proves that radiant energy, which is expressed or um, ether is plasma. And that matters for a lot of reasons, not for this video. Okay, well, in case you're wondering, here's the patent. It's really cool. It's, you can go look it up. But yeah, they're working on this now. So now you're probably saying, if you have some sort of intelligence, Dana, the crystals in your phone are not plasma crystals. They're quartz crystals. I know. Thanks. And let me tell you why that matters and how everything interacts. Quartz crystals interact with plasma. So plasma crystals are not used in phones. This is a whole nother subject I will get to another time. This is very magical as well. So quartz crystals are used in your phone and they're a naturally occurring mineral made of silicon dioxide, also known as silica. In my mind, I know silica also has to do with plasma. So my brain started thinking, which it should do. So the quartz crystals in the cell phones are used to generate a reference signal for, here we go, radio waves. And once again, quartz crystals are made of silica or silicon dioxide, which is literally made of Earth's most abundant material, silicon and oxygen. So you would think it probably interacts with plasma. And why does this matter? It matters because this is how our phones read our minds. I don't even know if the people making them realize this. So here we go. So there's something called a radio frequency plasma processing that can be used to treat silica. I hope I'm saying silica right. Who knows with me. Basically, silica can interact with plasma. Obviously, also plasma interacts with radio frequency, with radio waves, just like we talked about in the beginning. RF plasma sources work by using an electromagnetic field created by a radio frequency source to ionize a gas and turn it into plasma. Okay, here's where it gets like really juicy. So a quartz crystal in a phone works by generating a stable reference signal for radio waves that are used to send and receive voice and text. And a reference signal for radio waves is a predetermined signal that's used for these communication systems. So if our brain receives consciousness or radio signals, like a phone receives radio signals and sends out radio signals, this has a lot of implications, like number one, 
Just like a coarse crystal generates a stable reference to receive and send these texts, our brain can use what you would call a plasma crystal. And basically just think of us as crystallized plasmas. Like humans can generate signals that's like telepathy. So we can train our minds harnessing plasma to literally send and receive images and words to each other, which we're starting to do and which we can be trained to do and learn. Yes. I know it's a stretch, but it's really not. And it all does connect. And I'll get to the plasma in the brain. So basically in this theory, and I'm gonna connect to why our phones read our minds, there's plasma all around us. And then there's these quartz crystals, which help receive the radio waves that we're getting from plasma. So just like it's receiving mm -hmm. text messages, what if it's receiving what we're thinking, which is consciousness. So when you think I wanna go to Japan and then you see a sign of Japan on your phone or vacation stuff about Japan all of a sudden and you didn't speak it out loud, this explains why it does. And here's why. Sorry, I'm just excited because I feel like I'm really onto this. Like I'm, I'm onto something here and this will be proven in the future. Oh, and just like they're making plasma antennas, we are the plasma antennas. Humans, we are the magic. We can train ourselves without even technology to receive thoughts from each other, which no one can control or capitalize on. Right. Yikes. Well, actually, Whoa. I guess they can read it with Not phones. Yet. Oh, well. <laughs> Maybe if our minds learn to access certain frequencies, we can secretly communicate without anyone listening. This really could happen. <laughs> it's the future. Oh, okay. So in our brains, there's also plasma. This is different than space plasma, but they're actually, the plasma inside our blood is named after the plasma in space because they have almost the exact same properties. They're just used in different ways, which have to do with communication, protection, cleaning, transporting. So brain plasma is the liquid component of the blood that flows through the brain, brain <laughs> shaping the biochemical <laughs> environment for neurons. Oh, that's pretty interesting and pretty um, useful. Or that's a pretty big deal. That's what I was trying to say. I think I had a seizure. So plasma protects, nourishes, removes waste from the brain. <laughs> this plasma in the brain, and no, there's no studies that are saying this, I don't think yet. This plasma could be the reason why we can receive consciousness from the outer space plasma. Right, Danica? <clears throat> Once again, I'm working on this theory, but it really does make sense. Does it not? I'm not trying to convince anyone of anything, by the way. I'm just putting this out there so hopefully anyone who's smarter than me can help me figure this out. Because I don't care if I'm the one to discover it or not. Maybe I said it first, maybe I didn't. But I want to help humanity, guys. And my intuition is very strong about these things. Why else would I be obsessed with plasma? It's my life purpose, obviously, to help people communicate because I have trouble communicating in my life. Uh, I want to connect the world with interdimensional beings. Okay, let's go back to, I think that's possible too with plasma though. But this is, video is not about that. But plasma basically is the great communicator, which they're literally figuring out, which is why the government is building plasma antennas, which we are already, we already are the plasma antenna. Humans, humanity is special and we can learn telepathy to communicate with each other and other dimensions and realities. I swear guys, just give it some, give it some time. I'm not crazy. Okay, so here's what we've established. And this is my theory. Our phones are currently made with quartz crystal that receive radio waves or interact with radio waves and have something to do with making it on that frequency to receive those waves. Potentially, if our consciousness is held outside our body in this plasma or this energy or this air, and we also are just like phones as above so below receive our consciousness and other frequencies with our brain plasma it's all plasma guys potentially if we think something it can travel through the plasma air into the phone and that is why we see those images that we're thinking and that we're like how is it reading our minds literally is reading our minds this also has implications about the fact that consciousness is held outside the body it may be like radio waves we receive it, it is non-local, and plasma is the vehicle for consciousness and holds consciousness. We will be able to access plasma in the future for communication and telepathy. If you want to screenshot it, when I asked chat GPT, this is something it said about plasma to do with advanced communication technologies. Obviously, it didn't get into interdimensional communication. That's for another time. All right, you guys, I know that was pretty lengthy, but I was extremely intrigued by the information that she was providing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's for all my geeks there.
High five. Yeah. What is that? Why do we pay for land when it already exists on the planet for free? How can how can someone claim ownership of Easily. rock that naturally occurred on this planet? Why do people pay taxes? It's the illusion that we fund governments. Yes. Taxes are just another form of theft to keep the small man from revolting. That's all it is. You look at 60 per 66% capital gains tax now in China, though, and it's very much adopting the policy that doesn't matter what you own. It doesn't matter how hard you work. The government owns the means of production and they own your energy input and they own your energy output. And all it is is a form of control that people have bowed down to. And the less resources you have, the more malnourished your society is, the more distracted your society is, the harder it is for you to fight against the theft that's taking place. No. Yeah. Should be free, right? <laughs> be the account of UAPs emerging from or submerging into our water, which could indicate a base or presence beneath the ocean's surface. I, I don't know about uh, a base, but, you know, as I mentioned, I had a, a different source entirely described this pretty extraordinary footage that exists of orbs, uh, of an orb coming out of the ocean and being met by another orb. And it uh, seems like there's still... If you don't know what an orb is, it's a light. So they just admitted right. to us seeing lights coming from the ocean, flying around, intelligent lights. For so long, my wife and I, we've been teaching as well as friends, and we begin mocked saying that marine spirits exist. There is a such thing as a marine kingdom. And given scripture to back it up, you can go look at my videos from years and years ago. That doll just blinked. Let me tell y'all true story, be so boom, watch this video to the end. The Simpsons done it again. TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's go. Okay. okay. Huh? What's that? No! No! Oh, hell no. Come on! What happened? Okay. What? Son, TikTok, this is for entertainment purposes only. I didn't do anything. The Simpsons did it. <laughs> Shut up! You're still eating that milk and cereal, aren't you? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oat milk, whole milk, <laughs> almond milk. Stop playing with me, son! It's all the same. <laughs> the Simpsons showed you that. <laughs> That's creepy. Shut up! No. Let's not forget, guys. This is just a cartoon. This is not real. <laughs> Stop playing with me, son! And guess what? We got him. We got him. Yeah, you got him. Man, I'm telling you guys, all you gotta do is put the pieces together. It's like a puzzle. You know, remember? Connect four. Stop playing with me, son. I'm tired of these guys, and I'm telling you right now, I ain't eating cereal ever again. But I'll tell you one thing. If I'm ever in a supermarket, and somebody tells me this is the best milk to get, is that uh -huh. right? <laughs> Could outer space actually mean the lands and the space outside of the ice wall that we're surrounded in? Hmm. The Terra Infinita map. This is the known lands, right here. The lands of Neptune, the lands of Mars. And notice how we're always talking about going to Mars, but well, this is actually right under the main lands. The lands of Venus, the lands of Jupiter. 
So again, outer space is the space outside of the wall surrounding us. And what's more realistic? Aliens traveling from billions of miles away or them traveling from right here, land of Mars, coming to us through the air or the oceans? Hmm. Just saying. That's like three days ago. Look at this. What is this blue beam? I don't know. Are those missiles? I don't fucking know. What is the that? What the hell? I don't know. I just looked over. And, and it was just another there. one. It was just another one. So y'all really telling me you don't know that Elon Musk is the alien that these whistleblowers are threatening to come forward and talk about? Because if you are on TikTok or any other social media outlet, you know that aliens are the talk of the town right now. They and there's supposedly the a the huge whistleblower case that's going to come forward in less than a month. And I'm pretty sure it's about Mr. Elon. Besides Elon Musk saying in multiple interviews that he's an alien, are we forgetting what his nanny said about him? No, like seriously, everyone is saying that there is this massive information about aliens that we don't know about that is going to come forward, even from a NASA filmmaker that claims that there's an evidence of alien life. The information that's allegedly supposed to come out from the Pentagon from Immaculate Constellation that alleges that someone with verified credentials has information about reverse engineering and even alien housing complexes. I'm what? telling you, it's going to be about young Elon. Do you guys remember what his nanny said about him going through portals and how he was not a normal kid? Why do you think this man is so obsessed with space and so good at making spacecrafts that land and no one else is doing it? It's him. Like, do y'all not remember what his I... nanny said about him? Just listen. God bless you. I am Shalom Girl on YouTube. Um... I love Jesus, Jesus Christ, he saved me. I want to tell you something. I'm an old lady, kind of. I'm 55. Oh, I was so born in San Francisco in 1965. And, um, because of something the boy did, I never told what he did. The boy did something very dark when he was very little. And I was. She basically then goes on to talk about how he went through a fucking portal and how he would basically portal jump and that he had the mark of the beast. Like, that's what all this alien whistleblower talk is about. It's fucking him. Videli si už také to niečo? Normálne som mi nelenilo sa ísť v pyžame pozrieť, jak stará Blaškova. Are there people going through it? Je to laser alebo na muž? Dáva niekto nejaké znamenie. What is she laughing about? Somebody translate. I personally believe this is one of the most important scientific discoveries of all time. I am really shocked that we didn't even learn this in school. This is some this is some next level stuff and it was verified to be true dr masari moto and what he discovered was you know when you speak to the water and you say certain things like i love you or you know you're my friend or beautiful yeah Even, beautiful yeah. angel it could be simple just like angel happiness oh, wow. peace when you say these positive words to the water and then you freeze it it makes beautiful shapes most of the time really? they're symmetrical they look yeah like, like you beautiful. google images they have photos of this they look like snowflakes like beautiful symmetrical snowflakes now when you say mean nasty words to the water and then they freeze the water it would make ugly asymmetrical shapes asymmetrical yeah, like cracks and looks like damage bubbles and you basically prove that like your consciousness and your will combined with the intention behind your words affects reality it's like the concept that like your words are magic so much so that you change physical reality yeah it is quite literally proof that the things that come out of your mouth change reality affect your physical surroundings now, i don't believe in conspiracy theories at all nor in time okay. travel or anything like that uh, but i did show a church with an image of what looks just like a uh, the newly elected president of the United States on it um, last week. And now I'm in the city of London and I'm looking towards Trump Street. And the bizarre thing which um, you notice if you walk along Trump Street to the end of the street, as I said, no conspiracies at all. I'm not that sort of person. But look at the street that's right next to it. If you follow Trump, then the trail 
leads you all the way to Russia. So uh, what do you think of that? Uh, conspiracy, uh, accident, <laughs> or maybe time traveling? I don't know what know. to think about that. <laughs> I'll show you now the image of Donald Trump on the church in the city of London, in case you haven't seen it before as well. So this church has an image of Donald Trump on it. It's from the 15th century. I look up this gentleman here. Look really closely. It can be no other than the Donald himself. And yet it's going on. 250 years old. How did they know? How did they know? <laughs> okay, <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> I don't know why that's it funny. <laughs> It's a little bit creepy. Soto. The whole sky just went dark. What? Mm -mm. I would be scared to be sitting outside. I'm sorry. I would have went inside already. <laughs> They must be playing with something. Like <laughs> my can somebody translate what they're saying here? What? Oh, now it's starting again? Oh, they had to change the color? No. They want. Ah! 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 Yeah. I don't know, you guys. Tam je UFO. Wow. Čo? A to je nejaká včela s tikadlami. Let me tell you a true story. Be something. Watch this video to the end. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> TikTok. This is for entertainment purposes only. Yes. Well, look what we have here. Ah, what's going on here? <laughs> uh. It's not a game. Look. <laughs> oh, really? Look, he's running. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> Stop playing with me, son. Did you see that? He used the magnet. Oh. <laughs> Pretty clever. That's scary. Be careful while you're out there, ladies and gentlemen. Especially when you're on vacation door. you leave your room. Never leave nothing valuable. <laughs> the nerve of them to try to get in while they were there. <laughs> Could be shh. Shut up! Don't you say a word. <laughs> 
I might have a little trick to help you with that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this lady's smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not a game, guys. It's not a game. Be safe. <laughs> Trust nothing. Second no. guess everything. Exactly. <laughs> Crazy. Look at that. She got it. Smooth. <laughs> the pain will be sent on TikTok. This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm just teaching people things. <laughs> you That's good to know. When you're on vacation I mean, with your family, make sure you bring your own locks. Actually, <laughs> they're everywhere. You never know when an ST or RR or CL might try to enter your room. <laughs> Why you're there, the nerve. Stop playing with me, son. I would never have it on my watch. But I tell you one thing. If I'm ever in a hotel room and I see that going on, mm. trust me, he ain't going to get away in the hallway. I'm going to catch him. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? How fast is this? <laughs> this is still slow. We're this doing, is slow? only doing 20, 28, 30 miles an hour. Oh my an god, oh my we'll god, oh my god. We'll speed up after we get around the corner. This isn't just any tunnel. We can, go, oh. we can get 100, no problem, but we'll, we'll, we'll take it easy for you. A tunnel, <laughs> you guys. It's Elon Musk tunnel. And to understand why we're speeding through it, you need to go back a couple of years when he decided he had had enough of Los Angeles traffic gridlock. Either we try something new, mm -hmm. or we will That's be stuck in traffic hell for the rest everything. of our lives. I, I still think, well, maybe this could be underground. This is the underground network he envisions. Electric cars using street-level elevators to drop down into a series of tunnels. Autonomous technology in the cars ensure that they don't run into each other, despite going speeds over 125 miles an hour. Tunnels are, the, in my fast. view, the only solution to urban congestion because we have a 2D road network and we have buildings in 3D. Like, and everyone wants to pile out of those buildings and into those buildings at the same time. Obviously, you're going to have a traffic jam. Uh-uh. How'd they do that? Yeah. Come on, man. Oh, I'm not fucking playing. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Oh. Oh, mm, there's it? nobody in this fucking store, dude. It's freaking me out, bro. Uh-uh. <laughs> Why are they there in the dark? What is going on? I mean, I can understand if you're out in the field or you're camping or something, but like, what? At an abandoned house in the dark, and you see that, and you're just filming it. Uh uh, goodbye. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna summon right now UFOs. And they're going to arrive and you're going to see them. I'm going to bring the <laughs> request for the UFOs to show up. Let me see. And how I do it is I telepathically tell them to come down and I tell them to show up. In order for yourself to do it, you got to have a clean mind. You can't be trying to trick them because they know everything that you're doing. So if you have a clean heart, clean mind, and request for them to show up so you can kind of communicate with them. Show up for what? And that's how you do it. So I look up into the sky at a cl clear blue area, and okay. I project my eyes deep in the sky, and at the mm. same time, I tell them to come down. We are all like super people, except we haven't been taught that, you know? And, but if you do it too much, it can't harm you. Ow. Tell me so how. I suggest to do it only like five minutes. I do it but a few minutes. I'm calling them now. And are they going to actually come? I want to see this crap here. <laughs> I want to see it. And I'm telling them to come down 
and to do amazing uh, intelligent things so people will know who they are and when they do that the people are all going to go ah oh, because they're not going to believe it I have it on video it's it's spinning super fast now believe this it's right above the trees This has got to be some sort of stunt. Look, it's a balloon. <laughs> what is going on here? And they cannot get a, a, a clear picture of this. It's balloons. Those look like balloons. I'm sorry. I'm not fooled. Yeah. You see those question marks? No. What is that? <laughs> I ain't the most scientific genius in the world, but hey, what my eyes are seeing right now is trippy. Look at this. Look at how that water moving. What the hell is that? What is that? Look at it. It's like, it looks like a toilet bowl flushing. Look how it's moving. So the people who recorded this video, right? They notice it like, like miles down, right? Miles down. This so miles down. the guy with the flashing light, he decided to be flashing it. So the guy who started recording was like, well, let me get this on camera, right? And this is what they got on camera, y'all. Now, we all know that the hurricane and stuff like that, Hurricane Helen and Hurricane Milton is going on right now, right? But something about that water, y'all, from animals washing up on shore and some into this. Look at that. Y'all, be careful in them waters. This story comes out of Missouri. Um, there was this man named Phil. And he said this one weekend, him and his wife decided to go camping in the Ozarks. They had this uh, area that they would go to, which was a friend's property. And they had kind of set up like this cleared area where they could camp for the weekend. So they go there, they set up their tents and everything. And he's enjoying his time with his wife. Well, he said later that night they go to bed and they are in their tent when he just like has this really bad dream. And in the dream, there is something like running through the woods and it's chasing him. And he said all of a sudden this thing turns and it starts going after his wife. And then boom, he wakes up. And he said when he woke up, he looked over and his wife was gone. She wasn't in the tent. So he starts freaking out like, uh, like what's going on? Like, where's my wife? So he got up and goes outside of the tent and he starts yelling for his wife. She's not responding. Mm -mm. So he goes off in the woods and he's looking around for her, yelling her name. And then in the corner of his eye, he sees something moving in the woods. So he goes in that direction, and there's his wife. And she's just standing in the woods, like looking up at the sky. And so Philip is like, hey, what are you, what are you doing out in the woods? Like, you had me scared. Like, I thought something happened to you. And she's like, oh, everything's okay, honey. I, I was just outside catching some fresh air. And he's like, uh, okay. Well, do you want to come back to bed? <laughs> she said, yeah. Right. So they go back to the tent and they go to sleep. And the rest of the camping trip 
right? It's fine. They go back home. Well, he said ever since that night, his wife was just kind of different. Like something was off about her and he couldn't really explain it. But there was a slight change in her voice and a slight change in kind of her personality and her mannerisms. And every so often, she would look at him and give him kind of this weird smile. And it just made him feel very uncomfortable. Well, he said one night, him and his wife, they go to bed. And they're just laying in the bed. And he said all of a sudden, his wife, her voice like changed. And she started saying, like, I'm going to get you, Phil. I'm going to get you. And he's like, what are you talking about? And she's like, I'm going to get you. I'm taking you back to the woods. Oh. And he's like, uh, what's, what's going on? And he said, all of a sudden, she jumped on top of him and started holding him down. Oh. And she was shaking him and up in his face, like yelling all kinds of swear words at him. And um, he said, like he couldn't figure out how she had this much strength because she normally wasn't like a very strong person but how she was dare. fully holding him down he couldn't get up out of bed and he said all of a sudden like he pushed her and she kind of like fell backwards onto the bed and he said the next thing he knows he sees this light leave her body and then go out the hallway he hears the front door open and then close and this wind kind of just blew through the house and then he said everything was silent hmm. and his wife was like what's going on honey and she was like normal again and she was completely confused about what had happened and she couldn't remember anything up to that point when they had went on the camping trip and Goodness. he felt like something had taken over his wife you can't say they didn't warn you you better pray to the lord when you see those flying saucers, for it may be the appearing of the judgment day. You can't make this up. But now that comes from the 2009 animated movie, Monsters vs. Aliens. And I also found these stickers on the laptop. Pretty interesting. So clearly, we got the alien in the left corner. We got the six-pointed star. I think you know. We got the yellow and blue. We got Ukraine in the news since 2022. Um, and then we also got a flying horse, kind of like, you know, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. But hey, hmm. maybe I'm just looking too far into it. I mean, what do I know? But don't you I find mean... it interesting or suspicious how we have seen an escalation in the news with UFOs, sightings, and aliens? On the month of October, an internet account by the name of Greedy810 and her boyfriend were having a really good time on the Carnival Freedom cruise ship near Cape Canaveral. At the time, everything was going as it should, with the exception that a bird had entered their room. This is until hundreds of birds start swarming inside of their room. Man, they were my room full of birds. Baby, you okay? Baby, where you at? Oh my God, baby, where you at? Strange, isn't it? But here are things take an even stranger turn. Dozens of other videos started popping up all over social media of people seeing the same thing on different cruise ships around Florida. Hmm. Check Joke, this out. Boy, it was so many birds out here, man. I'm talking about. They all the okay. Okay. This is creepy. I've never Oof. seen this before. What do you think it is? Swarms of thousands of birds were seen fly around the Serenade of the Seas cruise ship and many others. To make things even stranger, many of them were seen falling from the sky. Yeah, I never seen 
Now after doing some research I found out that there was a major storm nearby. When this happens the air pressure drops and most birds who have sensitive hearing respond by flying as close to the ground as possible. So in this case the birds were trying to avoid the storm which makes a lot of sense. Nothing mysterious about it, right? Well, wrong. What makes all of this very strange is that not only birds but insects were both falling from the sky. Were they locusts? They die Mox. twice. They die yeah, twice. They're just just, uh, what about the moths? That's, that's true. true. They should be and both crew members and passengers had never seen anything like this before. Interesting. <laughs> no, nobody's seen it before. I mean, it's strange. What do you think it is? This bizarre phenomenon still remains a complete mystery. And to make things even stranger, this isn't the first time such a what thing happens. But I want to know your thoughts. Have you ever seen anything like this? What do you really think happened on that mysterious night? I am very weirded out right now and here's why. I downloaded an app today that I saw someone using earlier on TikTok. Now it's a ghost hunting app. I don't even know if I believe in ghosts. I am agnostic. But basically the app listens and if it hears ghosts, it tells you what they're saying. But, like, there is a lot of downtime. It's a lot of silence and occasionally a word. Now, again, I downloaded this for entertainment purposes only. So tell me why I sit down on the floor. I set my phone down on the floor. Veronica's on the other side of me. That's and Veronica. the phone says, toy? Interesting. Uh, I happen to have one of her toys in my pocket. I pull it out. I throw it to play fetch. She runs to get it. Uh, but instead of coming back, I hear the phone say, You can hear me? And I look over, and she is in the other room sitting next to her toy and just looking back at me like this. And then... Get out of here. Remember middle school when you were walking through the hallways and someone would step on your heel? Well, I accidentally did that to her. And I almost tripped. And me and the phone at the same time said, are you okay? What the... Does it communicate with animals? What? Then it started going on about something about consciousness. I don't... I... But for real, are my cats communicating through ghosts? Are my cats communicating through an app? Are ghosts pretending that... to be my cats? Are my cats ghosts? That's that plasma antenna thing that that woman was explaining earlier in the video. It's called eye gazing. Eye gazing is a practice where two participants gaze and stare into each other's eyes for a long period of time. When eye contact is both initiated and maintained with the two people, an invisible energy circuit starts to create with creating this establishment. It induces euphoria, past life experiences, and visions. And one of the most high mind power is to remote view. And one of the most mind power technique that it induces is remote viewing. And from here, it is extremely possible for you to reach higher consciousness. The eyes are the window to the soul. And it has much more meaning to what we just perceive it as. Y'all, <laughs> this has been an insane time. I'm glad to have you guys here with me watching every single video. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one.